You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures too. Kid that young man, what is wrong? Why did you stop me? Why did you stop me? I should have killed him and tell the consequences. Just imagine. He made me disown my own daughter, my only daughter. Telling me lies. Oh God. Obin, what happened? I go. He said my sister is innocent of all the allegations. Hello. Ese? You see? Innocent. Did you hear that? Did you hear that my daughter is innocent? Innocent! Where is German? Ah, where can we find our daughter? Obin, we need to go to the city and look for German. Okonkwo, you see, when I was talking to you, you refused to listen. You disown your only daughter. You told her all sorts of things. You disown her. Hey! What the reality? What the reality? This girl has suffered. Okonkwo. Okonkwo. Just pray that nothing happens to that girl. What have I done? What have I done to my own daughter? My only daughter? Yes. You stay here henceforth. This is your room. Thank you so much, Doctor. I really appreciate. Thank you. You're welcome. How later I would discuss on how to get you a job in my hospital. Perhaps an auxiliary one that could keep you busy as you do something. Thank you. Thank you so much, Doctor. Thank you. Okay. Although I still have one bag of corn yet to sell. I don't know if you'd give me time to sell it off, then resume work on that, you, sir. It's okay. Ah, it's okay. It's okay. Take your time. Hmm? Take your time. Thank you, sir. You're a good man. God will bless you. Bless you too. Um, once again, I am very sorry from the depth of my heart over your loss. Hmm? Accept my heartfelt condolence. It's okay. It's okay. What has happened has happened. And I believe God knows best. We can't question him. Sure. It's okay, it's okay. In case you, you need anything, don't hesitate to let me know. Okay? Okay, Doctor. No, it's all right. I'll, I'll be on my way now. Make yourself comfortable. And the baby as well. Make the baby comfortable. Mm -hmm. hmm? Let me go back to the hospital and uh, take care of other duties. Mm. How are you? Thank you, doctor. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Back to take my leave. Take good care of yourself. 
baby bye bye <laughs> it's all right excuse me I thought you and Antido have talked about this, and you refused. <sighs> yeah, Christian, my brother, we, we talked about it, but well, you see, I don't have any other option. When that lady told me her pathetic story, I had compassion to help before she falls into the wrong hand. Wrong hand. Wrong hand. How? What about her people? No family. No people. No one. You see, that lady was disowned by her father. Divorced by her husband. Hmm lost her son, ejected from her house. Christian, when them, if I tell you the whole story she told me, you get back one. You cry for her. But see, the most painful situation for me is that she lost her son in my hospital. Mm. Yes. A careless and idiotic staff of mine gambled with her son's life. Can you imagine that? Like seriously, you you see why we need to help her. You see why we need to show her love, kindness, and maximum protection till she finds her feet again. That lady has gone through too much, too too many things. I mean, she's in a perilous time, and we must. For the sake of humanity, show her love, compassion, and support. Well, Oda, me, I don't have any issue. No issues at all. Just that I don't think that your wife, Antido, would accept the idea. I don't know. For me, no problems. Amen. <laughs> I know, of course, you want to have her reservations, but I'll handle it. Hmm? I'll handle it. I'll handle it. It's not, it's not an issue. I'll handle it. I'll handle it. Hmm? Well, hmm. Yeah, I'm tired. I want to go and sleep. It's night already. Cheers, Jigo. Good night. 
Mm. It's alright, good friend. Mm. No, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for this gathering. Of all of us, because it's very important to me. And I needed all of us to be here at this point in time. Before I say what I have to say. And I'm glad you showed up. I want to thank you for coming. It's very important to me, but it's quite simple. I want a divorce. Yes. Babe. May the Lord forbid. Yes. May he forbid. Yes. Pastor Israel. What has gone wrong? Why would you even think of such? You are a pastor. I, I, I'm, I'm very sure you know what the Bible says about divorce. Not to think of divorcing your faithful wife. Faith. That's the word I was waiting for. Faithfulness. Faithfulness. And I'm glad you brought it up. Because Angela here is nothing but unfaithful. God forbid. She is a demon. Hey, young man, watch your tongue. It's my daughter you're talking about. <sighs> and if I don't, what would you do? Babe, that is my father you are talking to like that. And I don't know he's your father. Wait. Is this why you've been acting strangely towards me? Why are you doing this? If, if there was something wrong, you, you could have discussed it personally with me. 
Why this embarrassment? Why this meeting? If I want a divorce, I will do it the way I want to do it. Not on your terms. If I had informed you earlier on, you would have involved Papa Gio and his wife. And I don't want that. I want it on my terms. This is what I wanted. And this is how I want to disclose it. Don't tell me what to do. Stop it! Stop this madness. I bind and I cast out that spirit of arrogance. Amen, Jesus' name. Yes, Amen. you're willing to quickly cast out the demons and bind the demons from me when Angela here is the adulterous one. Babe, hey, what are you saying? Hey, young man, I warned you before. One more derogatory word on my daughter, then I will show you where they call me, Okonkwo. Did you hear me? Don't ask me to calm down. Calm down, my brother. Let us understand the situation very well. Hmm. Our in law, I hope you really understand the word that you uttered. Oh, yes. I understood the word. I used the word. I understood the word. And I know exactly what I am saying. Well, it would interest you to know that people have been calling me, texting me about her behavior. When she leaves this house and she goes out there, she knows what she does. She's been going to hotels with different men. A pastor at that, a pastor that I don't know. Jesus! Deny it! That devil is a liar! Lies! Deny it! Lies! Lies! Is you why are you lying against me? You know very well that you are the only man I have known all my life. Oh, you took my pride. Why are you lying against me? Papa is lying. lying. How can a pastor's wife like me be living an adulterous life? That's the question you should be answering. That's the question you should be answering. Answer the question. But he's lying against me. No, I'm not lying. You know the way you raised me. You know I can never do a thing like that. Why are you doing this? Do you have proof? Can you prove it? Can you prove it that you've not been doing what I say you're doing? Well, I have proof. I have proof. I can tell you I conducted a secret investigation with my doctor to find out the, the DNA of the child. And guess what? Do I need to spell it out? The child is not mine. Jesus. Blood of Jesus. The child is not mine. What more can I say? Angela is cheating on me. Jesus. And has been cheating on me. My goodness. I... <sighs> Pastor Israel, I shall continue to pray for you. I can see that the devil is trying to use you, not just to destroy you, but your total existence. Now, read my lips. Angela here is not going anywhere. I repeat, she is not leaving this house. Papa Oji, this is my house. This is my house, and I decide who stays in my house. Angela leaves my house today and now. Follow him, and you can take that Bastard child of yours! Now this is it! Sure is my son. This is it! I can't take this nonsense from you anymore! Now let me warn you, if I carry out an independent test and I discover that you are lying, I will show you where they call me Okonkwo. They will be DK. I will tell you where I'm a, a, a retired military officer. Mark my word! I am Okonkwo! It's alright! You can conduct the test, it's fine. Pastor Israel. Or what? <laughs> Do not ever think that we are unwise and uneducated. Just wait for us. <sighs> Let's see. If anything happens to our pregnant daughter, <laughs> you are going to see a bigger mass spread on a broad daylight. <sighs> no more. <sighs> Why are you still here? Israel. Please, please, 
can talk about this. You are leaving. Sus, you're, you're leaving today. We can actually discuss what, what, what I like this. Babe, babe, you can't be serious. You just tell me that you're joking. Tell me you're joking. Okonkwo. Okonkwo. Something tells me that Choma is innocent. Innocent. Innocent, you say? What kind of innocence are you talking about? My own doctor confirmed it. And you're telling me she's innocent? Huh? God damn. So, this is what she has been doing in her husband's house. Her lot all over the place. Oh, God. What is this? <laughs> okay. I am still surprised. Choma, our daughter, was never a wayward girl. We brought her up in a decent manner. What really went wrong? Okay. I think something went wrong somewhere. Hmm? No. no. We have to invite her for a serious meeting. Which meeting are you talking about? No, no, no. Which meeting are you talking about? In my house? Huh? I don't even want to set my eyes on her again, not to talk of meeting. Okonkwo. Yes, I have disowned her. If I see her and age near me, oh God, God bear me witness. The heavens bear me witness. She is no longer my daughter. All right. Okonkwo, you can't be talking out of anger. A father does not reject his own child. I have rejected this you. You cannot. I have. Okonkwo, you I cannot. I said I have. I have. You don't know me again. I'm a military man. Okay. I'm a disciplined man. Okay. And, uh, stop it digesting me. What is it? Mark my word. I will kill her. I will kill her. And then you come close to me. I will kill you also. You don't know me. I'm a military man. Where trained. Anybody who comes to it has sit on her behalf. I will kill the person. It's yours. Me, a military man. My daughter, I have her. No way. She's, she's, she's gone. Chopa. Chopa, my only daughter. So you are innocent after all. And I stupidly disowned you. God, what have I done? What have I done to my only daughter? Hey. Israel, it shall never be well with you. God, oh, you will suffer. You will suffer. You will be sick. You will beg for death. You will never see death. The law of karma will deal with you. How can you be this wicked? Demonic. God. What do I do now? How do I see my daughter? Where do I start from? I have allowed that devil to leave my compound alive. I would have cut him to pieces. Hi. Good. This man, you are, you are a devil. Israel, you are a devil. God will punish you. Please calm down. She's dead. 
What? Dead? How? She was involved in a plane crash. That was how we lost her. Good! Good! She is supposed to die. In fact, she should die, 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 and die again. Come, tell me. Was she burnt? Did the plane catch fire? Did she burn to ashes? Tell me! Please come. Don't ask me to calm down. Now it's good that she died. That is how karma works. If I had cut her here, I would have cut her body into pieces and fed the flesh to the dogs. Thank God she died. Good, good for her. Now, I hope people don't behave like her. I don't like her too. I don't like her. Please calm down, please. Take it easy. It's yours. Good. Take it easy. Goodness. What all of this? He went to buy something. They asked me to look after the gates. You must be Dr. Frank's wife. Who are you and what are you in my company? My name is Angela. My native name is Choma. I don't care about your native. Wait. What do you mean? Are you the woman my husband spoke to me about? Perhaps. Uh, you are living with us? Yes, ma. I stay at the boys' quarter. What? No way. It's not going to happen. Frank! Frank! What? I'm here for you. I... I don't understand. <laughs> okay, let me make you to understand. See here, from the first day you came into this house, I've been admiring you. You're a beautiful woman. Eh? Please, eh? I, I want to ask you if you can be giving me what you give to my elder brother. You understand? I, I, will, I will enjoy it too. 